Hometown Heroes show, our Hometown Heroes, brought to you by PKM Electric, by Ace Rental, Roxbury Truck Repair, and Marco, and Quick Print. Joining us in studio today on our Hometown Hero, Mike Roth with the Thief Over Falls PD and the K-9 Officer. Hi. Uh, How you doing, Mike? Good, good. Thanks for having me. You bet. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Kind of last minute, too. We tried to get Mike in a few weeks ago. You were, I think you were training at the time. The first time I was training, and then I think um, last week was youth, the youth deer okay. hunt side. Yeah. And taking my oh, that's right. Youth hunt was, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, so he's been busy. Uh, and uh, Carol Boogie, who uh, was scheduled, she is not feeling well. She'll be on a future one, but Mike, I appreciate coming in last minute. And we wanted to talk to you because it, it's been now. Um, how long since you've had Max? I Well, we got him. It's been almost two years now. It has a year been. and a half. Year and a half. We've had him. Yep. Okay. Uh, for those that don't know, he is a canine officer, and, and uh, Mike, it was really a lot. A lot of it. This was uh, a big part was on your shoulders because you were the one that was going to be able to handle this. You were the one that said, "Yeah, I can. I can do this." Uh, you wanted to do it. Now that you look back uh, after all of this, was this really worth it? Oh, absolutely. It was worth it. Um, I can tell you one thing. It was a lot more work. I I expected it to be a lot of work, but it's even more than I thought it would be. Um, Constant training, constant upkeep. Um, You know, I joke around the dogs. I spend more time with that dog than I do my own family. And and that's the truth. You know, he goes home with me every day and we train on, you know, my days off. I don't, I still work with the dog um, every day. And uh, it's, he's been a very valuable asset to our department, but uh, yeah, it's been a lot of work. A lot of work. Um, Let's step back for a moment. Uh, Tell us a little bit about Mike. Uh, Where are you from? I'm actually uh, from Red Lake Falls, born and raised in Red Lake Falls. I worked Red Lake County Sheriff's Office for approximately 13 years before coming over here. Okay. Uh, what got you in law enforcement? Um, just all the, you know, probably the biggest thing is all the toys you get, you know, I call them toys, but, you know, all the cool equipment you get to use. And, and um, I've, always, I've always appreciated or, or liked being able to help people and, uh, and that was probably one thing that kind of led me in that direction is, you know, you're able to help people that can't help themselves sometimes. And mm-hmm. and uh, the other thing is, you know, not being stuck in an office, being able to, you know, r- get out and, and see people and talk to people and, and, and uh, be part of the community. Okay. How about as far as uh, being the canine officer? What, what made you want to say, I want to do this? Well, um, I actually... I. First and foremost, I'm a, I'm a very big dog lover. Um, I I actually have my own my own company um, where I breed labs. Um, I've got multiple um, hunting labs, and um, the 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 whole thing kind of started um, a couple years back. I was working night shift, and, and me and another officer, um, we were we were discussing the, the drug problem in our community and what we can do to address. Um, at a patrol level, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, drug task force works really hard at, uh, working on their end, but, but at the patrol level, we wanted to, what can we do? What more can we do? And, and the one thing we had thought about was the, uh, getting a, a narcotics detection canine, um, which is, is a very valuable tool in, in, uh, in the, at a patrol level narcotics investigations. Um, so with that, I, I did go to the chief and, and, I presented my my uh, my theory or my this proposal on how I how I planned to do this mm-hmm. and and eventually he you know he he allowed me to to um, put together a proposal and bring it to the city council and then the rest is history we were able to like to, other canine officers uh, you do have to have a love for animals don't you you have to yeah. have a love for dogs because as you're like you mentioned you're with with them all the time absolutely absolutely and. Police canines are, they're different than your average pet. They're not, you know, the lab that you have walking around your yard with you all the time. Uh, Max specifically, you know, he's a Belgian Malinois. He's a very, very high energy, intense dog. He has to have an outlet for that energy. And um, the, 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 the training is, is constant to keep him, I, I don't want to say under control because he is a very well trained and, and, and does very well in public settings and stuff like that. But um, he he's not your average dog, so you have to you have to stay on top of him um, with training and with uh, um, just the care and maintenance that a police canine requires above and beyond what a normal pet would. And and what what kind of uh, a canine unit is he? Because because there's a different uh, dogs that do different things, right? Yep. And Max, we actually when we started this, we started. Um, 
he was just a narcotics detection. He is a what what we call a, a USPCA um, certified narcotics detection canine, which means he is um, annually we have to we have to take a certification test to prove that that Max or Max and I as a team can find um, certain narcotics with a certain level of proficiency at a national standard. Okay. So he is a he, from the very beginning he was a he was a uh, narcotics detection canine. After about, um, uh, after having for about one year, um, we made the decision to go uh, back to training and get what's called the full dual purpose canine training, which means um, he is uh, certified in criminal apprehension tracking, um, okay. still narcotics, but uh, um, he, he brings a lot more building searches, area searches. He brings a lot more to the table now than he did originally as far as um, the ability to protect officers in dangerous situations, okay. stuff like that. You're more what people more typically think of when they think of a police canine. Right, a dog that, uh, when we go through the training, you see the guy standing in the big uh, uh, pads and, yeah. and taking yeah. it on yeah. the like, arm so, as he goes. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> right. All right, Mike Roth is with us uh, today. He's the canine officer on our hometown heroes. Uh, more with Mike in a moment. Our uh, show brought to you by PCAM Electric. Electricity guides into the world before sunrise powers the street lights that send you home safely at night. It leads you through nearby neighborhoods and takes you to faraway cities. Electricity empowers you, and PKM Electric works hard to ensure it's there each and every day. Choose your destination. Be powerful. A message from your friends at PKM Electric Co-op in Warren. By Ace Rental and Thief River Falls. For all your rental needs, give Tommy a call, 6815-862 for Ace Rental of Thief River Falls. Roxbury Truck Repair from uh, the Truck Shop, Truck and Trailer Maintenance and Repair at Roxbury Truck Repair. Also, Marco Communication Tools, Copies, IT Service, and Maintenance. Check them out at marconet.com. And QuickPrint for all your printing needs. It's QuickPrint of Thief River Falls. Our hometown hero today is uh, canine officer Mike Roth. And, and Mike, um, I know a lot of people uh, look uh, at a canine officer and say, how much, how much more difficult is it to be um, an, an officer in today's world, which is really tough with, with what's going on in the world, and and then adding another uh, aspect to it, a dog to your to your um, team because you are a team. Correct. From two years ago when you were by yourself, not as a, as the rest of the PD, and now with your your partner because you do have a partner in the dog. Yep. How how much difference? How different is that um, in your it, job? It is. It, 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 it's completely different. Um, it's it's a very weird dynamic. You know, initially. Because the, the reality is every time you step out of the car with a canine, everybody's watching and, and you're relying on a dog to perform. And it, it can be stressful, but, you know, that's where the training and stuff and your confidence is built with a dog. Um, but that being said, especially, you know, especially with, you know, the training he's got now, you know, um, in most cases, any, anything very serious that happens, you know, we are going to get called, hopefully, a, a, to assist in, in any kind of a, um, you know, potentially violent um, call or, or situation. So, um, there's, there's definitely, uh, that aspect, you know, right. brings increased stress, but on top of that, you know, just, there's a whole new set of case law. Um, there's a whole lot of different rules that apply with canine that we have, we as a department have not really had to dive into prior to the canine. So now, now with um, more, more book study for you than I oh, guess. Yeah, huh? There's a lot more studying. There's a lot more researching case law. Um, I, I did sit down with county attorneys and city attorneys and discussed, you know, their interpretation of the case law and how they want to see that cases handled uh, moving forward. And it, there's a lot that goes into, you know, just that aspect of it, you know, and, and the reality is, is, um, you know, other officers now, call me when they they say hey do we have you know you know i have to be for lack of better terms the 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 department expert on on canine case right, law right um in our department so there's a definitely an added responsibility there right. also but, um has the dog been able to find uh, lots of narcotics so lots of drugs yeah we he has been very successful i think i don't have the exact stats on me but i want to say he has been um involved or responsible for approximately 30 felony arrests wow. at this point, felony level narcotics cases. Um, you know, just in the last two weeks, we had an incident with a truck car coming in. 
um, the, we assisted the, the um, narcotics task force or the drug task force on a, on a traffic stop um, along with uh, Pennington County Sheriff's Office. And uh, we did we did deploy can we did deploy Max, and he indicated on the vehicle, which allows us to search a vehicle, and, and resulted in uh, the finding of 44 grams of methamphetamine coming into our community. Um, we had another case. This is um, just before Christmas, you know, which is a very typical call we get. We got a call about a um, anonymous call saying there's a car coming in to your community from. Um, a very they, they said where the car's coming from, what kind of car it was, and everything. Um, and we were able to identify the vehicle, um, identify the driver. I, I did affect the traffic stop on them, um, corroborated all the information. And based off of the corroboration, we were able to walk the dog around the car. Dog alerted on the car, and we found uh, that one, I believe, was 14 grams of methamphetamine, individually packaged in 22 separate little baggies coming to our community to be sold. I mean, th that's why it was coming. And, and th there's numerous stories like that, but those are some of the kind of the bigger finds. It's going to make you feel good, doesn't it? it? It really does. It kind of, it's that reward for all the work that we've, we've done and, and what, you know, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you, you know, when we started this, um, trying to get this canine, you know, we, I don't want to say we made promises, but we said what the dog can bring to the community. You set some pretty high goals. We you? set some high goals yeah. and, and we, we, we. It's nice to be able to, to to get some of those fines and show the community that, you know, because the reality is the community bought this dog. You know, the community was amazing in their support for, for the, the police department and the canine program. And it's nice to be able to show them that their money is being used for what it's intended for. Speaking of which, uh, before we end, uh, if, if people are looking at donating, because we haven't talked about this for a long time, but the, there's always that uh, ability. If people want to help donate to the cause for the canine unit, they can do that, can't they? Yes, yes. And um, we have a couple different, um, I guess, fundraiser type situations. One, I know Officer Bassett has spoke on the radio about this, but um, there's a company called Vested Interest in Canine that... Um, it's, it's a company based out of New York, and they donate um, ballistic vests or bulletproof vests to canines. And, and we were lucky enough and fortunate enough to get a, um, a bulletproof vest for Max through this company. Well, as part of that, they also have a national calendar, and we were able to get um, – we were selected out of all these – all the um, departments around the nation, we were selected to be on this national calendar. And um, as – the way that it works is this calendar – um, we get several copies, and we can we sell the calendar at the police department. Um, we have some at the vet clinic right now, and uh, the calendars are seventeen dollars. Max is, I think, he's June or July on the calendar. Um, we are also on the cover of the calendar, and it's a fundraiser. Uh, the calendar costs seventeen dollars, but the great thing about it is fifteen of those seventeen dollars comes directly back to our department specifically. So. They're, it's a you know they're not making any money on us. Not going to California or right. New York or wherever. That money's coming right back to us, and um, so we have those, and we'll try to get them out to more places in the community. Um, and then we we are hoping to to do something here probably um, late November, uh, early December, some sort of an autograph signing event is what they want us to do with a calendar. So we're hoping to get something lined up um, for that. Um, we also have the T-shirts. We have T-shirts that we had made um, that are that are fundraisers that uh, for um, it says I support K9 Max. You know, probably seeing them around the community. Uh, we have lots of those still available. Um, a lot of youth sizes available. Um, you can come to the law enforcement center if you're interested in something like that. And if you just if you don't want to, I don't want a calendar. I don't want to buy a shirt. I just want to help out. Um, yeah, we obviously we accept like donations. We accept right at donations the, right at the at the police, police department. department yeah. So awesome! All right, we're we're out of time, Mike. But I, I appreciate you stopping in. Uh, continued success, continued uh, great training, and, and continued good luck here with with Max. It's great to see you guys in the community. Thank you very much, and thanks for having me. All right, Mike Roth, the K nine officer, our hometown hero today. Brought to you by PKM Electric, Ace Rental, Roxbury Truck Repair, Marco, and Quick Print. <laughs>